What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Yaks Welding. I know that we missed last week. Uh, it's been super crazy in the shop, but today we're going to be doing some stainless steel exhaust tube welding. So let's get to it. All right, so we already prepped our material. This is just two inch uh, stainless steel exhaust tubing. This brand is Squirrely Performance. You can get it from MA Performance or I order it straight from Amazon. Um, and it's super affordable and I think it welds just as nice as more expensive brands like Vibrant, um, Stainless Bros. So it's my go-to stainless exhaust tubing. Um, what we're gonna do today is I already got these two pieces prepped. So the next thing I need to do is tack them. As you can see, um, I use my cheap Harbor Freight belt sander to deburr the edges. It's real quick and convenient. And then I also have a deburring tool that I used for the inside. Um, and then a quick wipe with acetone and they're pretty much ready. So I'm gonna tack these in place and then we'll get them back purged. All right, so I got my number 12 gas lens on here and I got the machine set to 50 amps. Um, I usually like to run anywhere between 45 to 55 amps um, on this uh, exhaust tubing. So let's get it tacked. I got it all tacked up. Um, stainless has a tendency to move a lot when you apply heat to it. So I like to do at least several tacks all the way around. If I was welding this um, for real, and it wasn't just this video, I would probably add a few more tacks just to make sure that it doesn't move. Um, but let's get the back purge set up and then uh, weld this thing out. All right, so we got this thing back purging right now. I ended up just using some an aluminum foil with this uh, tubing. So I plugged this in and then I got the argon fed in to the tubing. Um, usually I let it sit for, you know, a couple minutes. This is such a small area to back purge that it's gonna go rather quickly. And all I'm doing is basically getting all of the oxygen outside of the inside of the tube. And it'll protect the inside of the well. And the reason that you do that with stainless is it's a reactive metal and it will sugar on the inside if you do not back purge. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the first two were back purged and they have a nice color and they look like, you know, a normal weld. But that back one in there was not back purged and it's got some sugaring and eventually it will break down uh, the weld and the weld will fail. So that's why you need to back purge. I'm running uh, 15 CFH um, on the back purge line. I have a dual flow regulator. You will need a way to run two lines, so I suggest picking, picking up a dual flow regulator if you are gonna be welding stainless. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be using a 035 uh, filler wire. This is 308. Um, the brand is actually Blue Demon. I believe, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you have like an 035 wire. I see a common mistake is to use just the filler wire that you can get from your local welding supply store. And I think the smallest that they offer is around 1 16th. And it's just too large for exhaust tubing like this. So order this online, again, Amazon. It's 035 uh, 308 filler wire. So the thing with stainless too, is you can take your time. You don't have, it's not like aluminum where you gotta get moving real fast. So when I do exhaust tubing, I just do, you know, basically just two inch runs at a time and I'm going kind of really slow and just trying to be consistent. Um, it does get hard to see your arc because you are running lower amps. Um, so you really have to kind of get in there and uh, make sure that your consistency is good. So I'm gonna, this thing's been back purging for about three minutes now. Um, it should be rid of all the oxygen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna weld it.
You can just keep it running. I'm gonna. I may fuck it up, but just keep it running. I'm just gonna talk. Well, it's running. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, you guys. So we got it all welded out, and uh, as you could tell by the uh, GoPro um, time lapse, there it takes a while. So that's why you know it costs so much. If you take take it to a shop and do it the right way, is because hopefully they're gonna back purge stainless, and uh, the weld's gonna last forever. So, take a quick look at this, this guy. And uh, I am by no means the best welder, um, but I have been doing it for a couple years now, so my consistency is constantly getting better and better. But all it is is practice. Anybody can do this. I started in my garage, went out, bought a TIG welder, and uh, just got after it. So, if you are doing race car stuff, building a car, um, it pays for itself and what you can do as far as like exhaust work, aluminum, intercooler piping, um, a TIG welder will pay for itself. So you don't have to pay anybody to do it. You can do it in your own garage and uh, get an awesome product if you do it the right way. Make sure that you uh, clean the material really well, deburr the edges, and uh, make sure that you don't have any large gaps. Stainless, like I said, has a tendency to pull real bad. So if you do have gaps and you start welding, what it'll do is it'll start um, basically pulling in uh, towards each other. And then you gotta think if this was in a lo longer piece of tube, now if you have something coming out your tailpipe, um, it may be kicked over, you know, a quarter of an inch or so and it's gonna, it's gonna affect everything else. So make sure you have tight fit up, everything's clean and uh, back purge. That's the keys to success with stainless. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe. Again, sorry we missed last week, but uh, it is what it is. The shop's busy and it, it comes first. So we'll catch you guys in the next one.